Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own skydiver or rollo plane. Now, there's a few variations of this ride. The skydiver is a classic carnival ride that you don't see too often where the seats can actually spin all the way around on an axis, which isn't possible in the game, but we will do our best to recreate that here. But it is quite a unique ride. It actually goes forwards and backwards uh, in the real world, but we're not going to be doing that today. But here you can see it going backwards. And then, of course, there is the Rollo Plane, which is a very old ride. You don't see too many of these, but the ride actually doesn't go upside down. The ride carriages just use gravity and are weighted on the bottom, so they always kind of correct the rider so that you just feel like you're about to go upside down, but it's kind of more of a diving motion, but very cool. So to get started, we are going to use the inverted roller coaster. So we're going to make a very simple design here, and you're going to have your one tile station, and then you're going to go up to steep, then we're going to do a sharp turn and then we are going to flatten out at the top and have one flat straight piece and then go back down and twist back into the station so a very simple layout add your entrance and exit and they're invisible right now and then what we're going to do here is we need to change the vehicles. So first we're going to turn on some cheats and we need to have turned on the show vehicles from other track types and disable vehicle limits. And with those set, we can go into the ride operating mode and change it to powered launch passing station. And I'm just going to go with 24 miles per hour, but you can fiddle around with that. As for the trains, we are going to set it to one train, and I actually want to use the impulse coaster trains, so the impulse trains with 21 cars per train. So it seems like a lot, but it will all make sense. So when we test the ride, we can watch it go around, and I'm going to set the number of circuits to something like 8, but you can change that. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to actually close the ride and have those vehicles stationary for now. And I'm going to hide the ride, make it see through. Now we're going to open up the plugin Edit Ride Vehicles. If you don't have this plugin, you can download it from the link in the video description. But basically I'm going to select our ride vehicles here and we are going to actually change them. So what we're going to do here with vehicle 1 is we're going to change it to the swinging cars, or actually the suspended swinging cars. But what I like to use is actually the airplane cars, so the suspended swinging airplane cars. And now we can hit apply to all vehicles on this train, so they're all going to be that vehicle. So now for vehicle 2, we're actually going to change the visual to the Cheshire Cats, and then we're going to change the variant to, I think, number 1, which is invisible. So we're going to hit the copy button here, and now for all of the even numbered cars, I'm going to hit paste so that they they will be invisible. So basically every other car is invisible. So we go all the way around and those are all set. So now we have our ride vehicles and we can turn the see through rides back on, give it a test. So this is what we want to have happen. I'm just going to make the paint scheme invisible so you don't have to see the ride track. And then now the only thing that is still showing are the footers. So what we can do is open the tile inspector actually here and select the footer right there and just move the surface above the track. So here's another one. So we can just move the surface above the track. So it's basically putting the track underground so these supports disappear. So with that done, we have our working ride and here's a little queue line. I have the entrance and exit on the wrong side, so I don't want to have to go through all the trouble of redoing the vehicle, so I'm just going to copy and paste the entrance and exit. So I'm going to paste the exit over the entrance, rotate it, hit make usable, and then copy the entrance here, delete it, and I'm going to paste it one offset, so one square over, like so, and make sure you hit make usable. And I'm just going to fix that queue line. So that's where I want the entrance to be. And you'll see that once I add the scenery, as I do right now. So I'm going to use that tile right there where the entrance was to build my little support structure. It's not perfect. I'm sure you guys could come up with a better look for the ride. But this is my simple design. You'll have to imagine that there's spokes. And now with the tile inspector, I'm just going to make that station track invisible, add a little bit more scenery, and there we have our ride. Now, if you'd like, you don't have to use the airplane cars. You could use the regular suspended swinging cars. 
but it really depends on the look you're going for. Obviously these cars don't go all the way around upside down like the real world, but I think this is the best we can do. You could try the suspended swinging seaplane cars from one of the expansion packs if you'd like. You could also use the swinging suspended floorless cars. So there's a lot of different options. And then I think if you really want, you could just use the uh, mini suspended coaster has those regular swinging cars and things like that. So it just depends on what you want it to look like. So once you have your vehicles chosen, you can actually look at the stats and we have really high stats due to the inverted coaster track. So that's really nice. But let's say we want to make this a roller plane. So I'm going to respawn the vehicles, but instead we want to have a four car train. So four cars, but still impulse trains. And then we're gonna hit test and then close to spawn the vehicles. And then back in the edit ride vehicles plugin, we'll select our train and we're going to change the vehicle visuals to the suspended swinging cars. So once you have those selected, hit apply to all vehicles on the train. And then we're actually going to go to vehicle three and change this drop down to the following vehicles on this train. And then we are going to hit the synchronize button and then the track progress selection here. So then I'm going to now change the multiplier to 100 and with track progress, I'm gonna move that all the way backwards up to the top. So let's change the multiplier to 10 and let's get that right above the station. So we want it to look like that with both ride vehicles uh, at the station and then on top. And then we are going to change vehicle two to reversed. And whoops, I left the synchronize button on so it changed all of them to reversed. Um, so basically we wanna make sure vehicle one and vehicle three are not reversed and vehicle two and vehicle four have the reversed uh, turned on. So that's gonna give us this nice little look here. Now there is a weird thing where it says arriving at station. So it's gonna do that on the last circuit. I don't know, it's a quirk of the game. It happens with certain ride vehicles, uh, especially these swinging cars. So if you increase the number of circuits to four right now, it's gonna go around as we want it to at 24 miles per hour until it gets to that final circuit. And then it's gonna go halfway around and then start doing this very slow kind of finishing it back into the station. I don't know why it does that, but there we go. <laughs> and I just sped it up a little bit so you can see it. And then that last one, it's very slow as it goes back to the station. But basically this is how we have our Rolo plane. So it looks pretty cool, I think, kind of like the original. You can set the number of circuits to whatever you'd like. You can speed it up with the launch speed. So it's really fun to play around. Obviously this has a smaller capacity than the Skydiver version, but if you want one of those vintage style rides, this works very well. Now, one thing you can do with this ride model is actually save the track design. So if you want, you can actually download the track design. The link is in the video description. And when you wanna build it, you're just gonna select the inverted coaster and the skydiver model, plop it down wherever you'd like. And then you're just gonna have to follow the other steps in the tutorial to basically use the plugin to set the ride vehicles to whatever you'd like. Make sure every other one is invisible if you're going for the skydiver route or kind of tweak it to make it the rollo plane. So basically you're gonna go through all of that and you're good to go. So very simple. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And as we head into the holiday season, feel free to check out some of my Roller Coaster Tycoon merch. The link is in the video description. And as always, make sure to subscribe because next time I'm gonna show you how to build these extra tall tunnels anywhere you'd like for any ride. So it's really fun and simple. So stay tuned for more.